Just remember, rust is a chemical reaction between metal, between steel, and uh, corrosion. Actually, it's, it's a, between steel and water. And uh, the same way that you chemically created it by, uh, by the steel and the water mixing together, you can also stop it with a chemical and make it a paintable surface so that you don't have to go and remove it all and then take metal off uh, a place or take paint off of metal in places you can't recoat it. Uh, I learned this lesson a long time ago. My friend was restoring a 1956 Ford pickup and he was sandblasting everything and then what would happen is he'd even get it primed before he got a chance to get it painted um, it was already rusting because the primer didn't stop the rust it has to have paint on it in order to stop rust so you know it, he was saying that oh this is the right way to do it and I'm kinda going well you know yeah there's there's loopholes to everything so um, when I over the years I, I was a paint contractor and I found out all these different products that aren't available for automotive that are actually for household use and for houses that work um, like these primers and uh, tested them on cars and found that they really work well as long as you do it properly like for instance on the doors on this bus I use the rust reformer because it's a really really thin product and painted it over the rust that's down in the cracks and used it and just make runs with it so that it gets down into the corners and places where the rust started because that's what you have to get you know people go and they see the rust on the outside you know on the outside of the metal but really what happened is the rust started from the inside because there wasn't proper protection there was no paint on those areas so you have to find where the rust started and stop it where it started and or cut out the areas that that uh, there are cancer whenever it's all the way through at that point you just need to put new metal Okay, what I want to talk about today is Volkswagen buses and rust. Uh, a lot of people have a myth about rust with Volkswagen buses. They figure that uh, it has to be in a dry climate and all this stuff, and uh, they think that a bus that uh, wasn't a wet climate is no good. It, it, it really doesn't make any difference much other than time and how much it was driven and how much uh, when it how long it was before the motor went out because usually that's what caused them to sit and then when they sit um, they, they don't have any rust at that point and there's a lot of people out there that are looking for a bus that has no rust but that's kind of like looking for a fart that doesn't smell because uh, originally from the factory they dipped these buses in a solution to remove the grease and oil from manufacturing and bending and then what they did is they dipped them again in like a, it's like a type of a primer and the primer actually was a very you know it was just like what you're seeing here in the original bus it's, it just uh, was to kind of semi protect the metal and underneath the bus it has that solution and then if you were lucky you got a little bit of undercoating on the fender wells but not usually and a little bit of paint whatever uh, missed the body kind of got uh, shot underneath and that's all that they got to protect them so a lot of people think that there's uh, buses out there that have no rust and it's really not feasible for a bus not to have rust it's going to have some degree of rust in it one more thing about these products is these are typically meant for um, oil-based paint recoating household oil-based paint which is different than automotive coatings and one of the reasons that you won't see these in the automotive paint store is because they typically are not uh, recommended 
that you put automotive paint over them. So if you're but on your undercarriage, um, I, I would say that it's safe to say that you can put any kind of oil base on there because basically you're not looking for the sun to damage it. Um, you're just basically looking to protect it from, from being rusted, which is basically what um, you're, 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 you're doing with your house or your wrought iron or whatever. So if you're using this and you do want to use it, like say you have a roof that's rusted um, and you want to stop the rust on the roof, you tried to sand the rust off, you weren't able to get the rust to come off. So what you do is you can at that point, you can you can bead blast that off if you want. Um, but if you wanted to just use this product over that, you could, um, but you could put it on and then what you do is you'd have to wait 30 days for it to completely cure. And then what you want to do after that is sand it, you know, without taking off the enough of the mill thickness that's required for the product to work. And then put on uh, an automotive primer over that. Just don't load it up, put too many coats on right away. Maybe put one coat on, wait 24 hours, come back, lightly sand that, put another coat on of the automotive primer. Um, you could even use lacquer primer over this as long as you don't let's say you can't do things like sand it with 80 grit sandpaper you'd have to sand it with like one 180 or smoother I would say 220 to be safe and then recoat it and put light coats and build up slowly and to the point where you get enough of the automotive primer on that you can resurface the area so you can't and then at that point you can put automotive paint over it um, the same thing is if you don't if you're putting lacquer on then I wouldn't recommend it you, you can't use lacquer over this but you could use uh, urethane paints or whatever as long as you you know convert it slowly um, because years ago they used to have uh, typical oil based uh, that was uh, synthetic oil like this is and we used to put you know other paints over acrylic enamel um, but you just had to let the stuff cure so you know there are some things like that that you need to maybe do a test area you know and make sure that your paints not going to wrinkle that you put over it but it usually doesn't as long as you let it cure and recoat it with an automotive primer so that's also available for you here's a couple of the products that you can use to stop rust um, that work very well um, you're all familiar with Rust-Oleum. They have this available in spray cans and in uh, gallons. It's called Heavy me, heavy Rust Primer. So uh, make sure it's not just a regular primer. They have one that they all say stops rust. Okay, But the one that has the proper chemicals in it is either this rust reformer from Rust-Oleum or they have this let me see if I can find the label um, it actually says it's for it it actually says on it, it stops rust dead I believe they have another one called uh, rust defender it's another brand it does the same thing Here's a spray can of the same product. Remember, you need to put this on the proper mill thickness and just as it is specified on the can. You can't just fog a coat on and figure it's all good forever. It has to be done properly and then recoated with paint to the proper specification on the can for it to work.